Hi everyone, Nick Kratikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and tonight you're watching me live on Bodabra. So in case you're new here, we go live each and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and it might be kind of an unfamiliar setting, especially if you're new. We are live in my old studio. So behind me is the last kind of spot to get finished up. Uh, you guys would be kind of amazed as to the rest of the rooms. So Alex is behind the camera. So as you come in, be sure to say hi to Alex. It looks like there's a fly down here. Uh, it's going to be kind of chaotic because I did open up a brand new pair of scissors. And you guessed it, Yaya misplaced them. So I don't know where my scissors are. So we're going to be using these scissors. So I hopefully will be able to dovetail. Um, and if I can't dovetail, hopefully I'll be able to even just cut the ribbon, right? So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to be using our large Bodabra tonight. Um, you can order the Bodabras and all of your ribbons at nickseasonaldecor.com. This is our third or fourth week carrying the Bodabras, um, and we are very thankful to have them. So let's share this video. Hi, Cindy. Hey, Cindy. Okay, yeah, so behind me is the last spot. Uh, to finish up. So again, nickseasonaldecor.com. Disregard the clutter in the back. But once we do that, we're going to actually do kind of a, um, what would you what would you say, Alex? Like a redo, right? We're going to actually create a little staging up uh, or down here like yes. we have upstairs in the studio. So lots to look forward to. We're going to first start off with our wire. We have both the silver and gold wire available. Uh, we're gonna be using the gold tonight just because I already have it open. So I have my silver at the warehouse and we have the gold here at home. Hi, Willine. Hi, Edna, Betsy. Hi, Vanita. Hey, Kathy. Welcome, everyone. I'm also looking a little shiny today, aren't I? <laughs> it's see. hot here. Am I shiny on camera, Al? You are a little um, shiny. Sorry about that, you guys. We uh, have a very hot house, and it's something that hopefully we'll have figured out really, really soon because it's getting unbearable, right? It is. So a little too hot, especially when you're filming and you're kind of, what's the word? You know, go, 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 right? Yeah. So we're going to start with this blue denim. I think blue is the perfect color ribbon for fall. I love pairing up blue ribbons with yellow sunflowers. It's actually one of my favorites of all time. So for this, let's do something a little bit different. We're going to cut a length of tails. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Mary. Hi, Pam. Hey, you guys. Nice to see you. So here's my length of tails. We're looking at about 24 inches on either side or so. Debbie would love to win tonight. Awesome. We're going to place our tails in the middle of our bodabra. Before we even do that, let me show you guys exactly what we did. So I have a length of wire right in the middle. And I'm going to take it out to show you guys. I just cut a length, right? And then I fold it in half. And it doesn't matter which way it goes in. Just place it on that slit up top. And I like to tuck my wires underneath the bodabra. Then we can come back in with our tails again. And if you are new here, if you're just tuning in, let us know if you would like to win a free roll of ribbon. Bodabra is giving away a free roll of ribbon tonight. Tonight and every Monday night, if we're going to be honest, right, Al? Mm -hmm. so every Monday night that we're live, Bodabra gives away a free roll. So Bella's birthday is not tomorrow, but the next day. So Wednesday, right? Is it yes. Wednesday? <laughs> My birthday is Thursday, and Dad's birthday is Friday. So just as a heads up, we're going to be giving away some of our own Bodabras at Nick's, uh, on our Facebook page. And I'm really looking forward to that. So if you guys don't have a Bodabra yet, A, you're missing out, right? Let's start there and say you're missing out and you might have a chance to win. But tonight you have the chance to win a free roll of ribbon. Hi, so, Pat. Hi, Hi Nelly. So we're adding, we're going to do two loops on either side. Let's do something different. We usually do three, right? So let's do two on either side. These loops are about four and a half inches or so. Hey, Pamela. Hey, Pam. Hey, Farah. Hey, Pam. Misty would love to win tonight. Hey, Misty. Hey, Nellie. Nellie said, love the video of Yaya and Steven, right? Uh, Steven's wedding was two Saturday. days ago. Yes. Yeah, so Saturday. So we had a lot of fun at that. The best thing is, is that it was the hottest. It's still the hottest week <laughs> of all year. Um, and we all got ready in this house. So it was just kind of, it was chaotic, but it was so much fun. And it's over, right? So we have lots of pictures to share with you guys. Hi, Tom. Can't wait to show you. Hey, Tom. Dot says, would love to win some beautiful ribbon. Happy birthday to you and your family. Thank you. 
Yes, next time you guys see me here on Bodabra, I will be 24 years old, which is just craziness to me. <laughs> so now what we can do is take those wires, pull them to the middle. Cindy says that is a beautiful color ribbon. I know, I love this denim blue. Don't you love it with sunflowers, Alex? Yeah. I think denim and sunflowers is one of the best combos there is. It really is, I love it for summer. Okay, so now that we pulled the wires through, we're gonna take them and tighten them. Gosh, you guys, it's even really hot down here tonight. Usually the basement stays a little bit cooler, but I think this is the first time we've really filmed down here in the summer, right? Yeah. It's been like almost 100 every day here in Massachusetts for a straight week, and we don't ever really see that kind of weather. So we're not used to it. But I know lots of you guys are like 100 degrees. That's nothing. That's I know. For us. Not here, though. So I also just had a little leftover piece of ribbon, which we're going to just dovetail in the middle. Hopefully. Let's see if these scissors work. Hi, Barbara. She says, hey, Nick, thanks for taking the time to design. Thank you, Barbara. Okay. Now we can pull our, t our loops out. Hi, Kelly. Hi, Joyce. Joyce loves your shirt. Thank you, Joyce. I got this for our trip to Texas a few weeks back. It's got cowboys on it, horses. It's got like little saloons on it. It's a very country shirt, right? So pull our long tails down. And there. We have that bow. Hi, Lynn. Hey, Kelly, no problem for being late. Thank you for tuning in. I know our new family members. So the only difference that the wedding made was the title, right? So Steven and Gabby have been together about nine years, which is just crazy to think about. It's been that long. Um, but they said, I do. And now they're husband and wife. So they actually leave for Las Vegas next week, which we're well, not where. I'm not looking forward to it because I'm not going, right? <laughs> uh, but they're looking forward to it. They had to make a decision between Las Vegas and they were cho um, deciding between Las Vegas and Disney World. Disney, Disney World? Is yes. that the one in, in uh, Florida? Yes. Yes. And they ultimately chose Vegas, but they said one of these days they're going to have to make a trip to Disney. And I think it would be nice to do a family trip to, uh, to Disney. What do you guys think? How many of you guys have been to Disney before? Barbara says, yeehaw for Texas. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to do a funky bow. We're going to be placing our ribbon in like so. Hi, Darlene. Hey, Darlene. Hey, Antoinette. Nice to see you. All right, so we're going to do several of these. And the less you do, the more loose your bow is going to be. Uh, which means you can come back in with additional flowers and greenery. So it's not always a negative thing having less loops. Uh, and it really depends on the look I'm trying to go for. Sometimes I like doing less loops because it gives me the possibility of coming back in with some greenery or some flowers in between the loops. And I'm a huge fan of that. But other times of the year, like Christmas time, you know, the vast majority of my designs, I want my bow to be really full and, you know, traditional, which means I use more loops. So I'd say... If you're trying to go for a lighter bow, between three and five loops and, you know, anything more than that, you'll start getting a really full bow. So we're going to stop here. We got two, four. Let's do one more. Let's do five total. Nellie says she lives an hour from Disney. An hour from Disney. And Betsy says, I have been to Disney and a family trip would be great. It would be great. I'm due for a trip. What do you guys think? Well, you guys are always... The ones telling me I need a little vacation, right? So <laughs> maybe you guys can talk me into a vacation soon. Hey, Antoinette, let's see. Hi, Antoinette. Jerry said three times. She's been to Disney three times. I think I've been twice. twice. You went once for a cheering competition. Yes, and, and that was years ago. But Disney the, makes so many, like, they've made so many new additions. It changes every year. I they know. They constantly update it. And, uh, and then the other time she's talking about is when we were little, little kids. We went on a family vacation. And I just remember bits and pieces of it. It's not the clearest memory, right? We stayed um, at the, the Animal, Animal Kingdom. Kingdom Hotel. And I remember we had giraffes right yes, outside of our window. <laughs> I remember that, too. And that and was I remember cool. the weather. I remember it'd be fine, sunny, hot one minute, and the next minute it would be like absolutely torrential rain. Yes. <laughs> and then we'd all buy like thirty dollar ponchos in the gift shop, and then by the time we walked out, it was it cleared up. 
<laughs> so don't forget, you guys, both Bodabra and Nick's Seasonal Decor have free community groups. You can join the Bodabra Fan Gallery and the Nick's Seasonal Decor Crafting Community, and you can find lots of additional inspiration from thousands of designers in those groups. So if you're looking for added inspiration or just want to see what else you know, other crafters are up to, those are great resources. So I'm just dovetailing these. It looks like these scissors came to the rescue. Uh, they're not my Fiskars, but that'll do. Gaynor says, I just bought a Bodabra, not, and haven't used it yet, but hoping to after watching this. Yes, absolutely. And we've been here with Bodabra uh, doing lives for them for, gosh, several years now. It's yes. crazy how time flies. Uh, so we have thousands of tutorials. Not thousands. That's, that's a stretch. Bodabra has thousands of tutorials, but we probably have at least a hundred when you calculate it out right yeah. every monday we've been going so there's a video out there for everybody so if this video you're not liking the bows we make there's plenty of other uh, videos right yes all right so there's the funky bow and we did a relaxed approach which means instead of making our ribbons perfect usually what we do is we run our fingers through it i've been loving this organic loose approach so by just having these loops kind of slowly creep out with a little bit of a curve. I really love that look. So what do you guys think? Hands up if you like the loops or, or the tails rather, being a little bit more relaxed than perfectly rigid and straightened out. I think it looks better a little bit. What do you think? I like it like that. Me I like too. it more relaxed. All right, there's our second bow. Let's keep creating. From Canada here, been to Disney World twice. First time at 25. And you also stayed at An uh, Animal Kingdom. Yes, that was fun. We should go back. Probably during the off season. Yeah. Because it can get real busy. But now we're going to switch gears. It's Christmas in July, you guys. So we're going to work with our two and a half inch fuzzy edge uh, buffalo check. And this is one of my favorites. We used this in a snowman design last year. And today, let's see what kind of bow we can make. So again, work it in. Pam loves the relaxed look. I do too. I think it just creates a, a beautiful look. It doesn't look forced. It just looks organic to me. So we're going to start with our set of tails hi andrea hey andrea cut our tails then we can place our ribbons into the bodabra and we can start making our loops kelly says ah oh, 57 and never been to disney well next time we go kelly you're invited yes it's <laughs> never too late it's you're coming with late. us so now let's do a traditional bow i think traditional with this ribbon will look really nice so we'll make our loops about three and a half, four inches or so. They don't have to be, you know, excessively, you know, large. Hi, the, Ginger. The more you create a loop, the bigger you create a loop, the larger your bow. I know that makes sense, but oftentimes you'll look at one side and be like, is a four inch loop enough? Then you've got to factor in that's on the other side. So this would be about an eight inch bow. You do eight inches on either side. That's about a 16 inch bow. So it really depends on the look you're going for and the design you're placing it on. Because if you're doing a really small 14 inch grapevine, I'd say these four inch loops can get a little bit, a little bit big, right? So definitely keep scale into consideration because it helps you create kind of that perfect design without making one thing look too big and one thing look too small. Hi, Stephanie, watching from Natick. From Natick? We gotta go to the mall soon. I know. <laughs> Hi, Valkus. Okay, so I'm just gonna unravel this and see how many loops we can work in. Kelly right, says, so. hot dog packing my bags. <laughs> Okay, so this is gonna be our third loop on this side. And we already have two on the other, so let's do three on that side. Becky loves the black and white ribbon. I know, and I know not everybody's a fan of buffalo plaid. You know, lots of people think, you know, it's been used too much, right? Uh, and I'd say that about gnomes, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'd say that about trucks. Uh, but buffalo plaid is just a classic, you guys. It's been around for so long, and I think it's still beautiful. So who's with me there? Who still loves buffalo plaid? You know, not in every design, but I'd say a lot of them, it still looks great in. Kathy says, let's have wreathing at Disney. Wreathing at Disney, right? <laughs> They'd kick us out for copyright. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we were able to squeeze four loops on this side and four on the other. Don't be afraid of making it even and don't be afraid of making it odd. You know, depending on the way you fluff it out and the technique you're doing, like a traditional bow, it's not going to matter with the way we fluff. You know, just the more loops you add. So if I added five on one side and four on the other, it just means we have an extra loop. It doesn't mean it's right. Tie it from behind. Oh, it's warm down here tonight, you guys. It is. 
Next time you guys look at me, I'm going to be very glossy. But Pam says her bow dabber has been getting a workout. She's still working on a lot of bows for her brother's wedding. Ooh, yes. You have to share some pictures with us. I would love to see. Fluff it out. Pull those loops apart. It's wired ribbon, so it holds its shape. And there we have a traditional bow. Hi, Betty. Hi, Joan, watching from Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. What time is it in Ireland? It's got to be late. There's your traditional bow. And we always take pictures and fluff it out and send them to Bodabra. You do see me cutting the wires off the back, and the reason for that is it's either I do it now or later on when I take the pictures. I think with the pictures, it looks best just having the bow. But if you were to secure this on a wreath, garland, swag, you would keep those wires and just use those to attach it. But there is your everyday traditional bow. I know, I love buffalo plaid too, so I'm glad you guys are with me there. But let's switch gears and make our wreath bow, which, which ribbon do I want to use for that? Let's use this black and tan one. This one's going fast, so I want to use some of it. Watching from New Jersey, welcome, Pat. We'll cut another length of wire. Yep, Joan from Canada. Pat loves the bow. Thank you, Pat. Oh, this humidity. Okay, so we're gonna cut a length of tails. Don't worry, Nick, I won't show them your sweaty face. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we gotta talk to dad, see what we can do about this heat. Falcus says, beautiful. Teresa says, from Ohio and would love to win. From Ohio, we drove through Ohio not too long ago. So for this wreath, let's just do who knows? Uh, yeah, let's just add a bunch of loops. See how it turns out. Let's hi, Teresa. Do, hi, Teresa. Let's do three on each side that are about four and a half inches or so. Dory says, find Bodabra on Instagram. So you can find Bodabra on Instagram and all of the other social media handles. Um, let's do three. Oh, Joan from Northern Ireland says it is 20 minutes after midnight. 20 minutes after midnight. So actually earlier than I was expecting. So what time is it because here? Roughly 7.15 7 now? It is 7.18. Okay. So they're about six hours ahead, five hours ahead? Five hours. Wow, that's not bad. Hi, Faye from Anto San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio. We'll be there one day. She says, hot here and loving your bows. <laughs> Thank you. And it's hot here too. It's funny, the first day of our heat wave here in Massachusetts, me and Nick both looked at each other that day and we were like, whew, feels like Texas. Yeah, feels like Texas. Feels like Texas in this house, too. <laughs> I know, maybe I'll sit in the AC car. Maybe when we do date night in the wreath community tonight, we'll do it from the car. It'll be like a special, right? <laughs> Make the bows in the car. Because this house ain't my thing. We have Karen from Alberta, Canada. Alberta. I, we got to make a trip to Canada one of these days. We've never I been. know. And we're not too far away from the border, I believe, in New York, right? No, we're only five, six hours from Canada. It's just, well, a certain parts of yes. Canada. Yes, yeah. Um, but yeah, we got to make the trip one day. Well, I think the only thing holding us back is simply and solely time, and we got to get our passports updated. Yes, I know. Right? We Thanks, haven't used but... those in... Whew, 10 years now? 10 years, at least 10 years. We Last time me and Alex used our passport, we were in Greece. Okay. No matter what you make, Nick, it's always beautiful. Thank you, Andrea. We're going to place our bow on top of this old 18-inch grapevine. And good news, we are getting, we got some of our grapevines in, but we're getting even more, which I'm looking forward to. Karen says, yes, come to Canada. Dory Lynn says, Oop, that's by Ontario. Larissa Buffalo's. from Corpus Christi is watching. Corpus Christi. I know because Niagara Falls, that's part New York and part, Har is it? I don't know which part of Canada I it is to be sure honest, either. but. Canada always throws me off. <laughs> I feel like. <laughs> I feel like I know where certain places are, and then I have to ask Dad, and Dad's like, you are way off. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Bob. He just got here. Hey, Bob. Nice to see you. Hope you're doing well. We're just fluffing out our wreath bow now. And then we're going to work in some flowers. Okay. Pull those loops apart. 
get everything all fluffed out. Hi, Mary. She says, howdy, howdy to you all. Hey, Mary. Okay, there's our wreath bow. Isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Now we'll switch gears and work in some flowers. So we have these peach flowers, which I really love this color. Peach is one of those colors that's a little bit difficult to photograph, um, but in person, I, I think there's nothing like it, right? So peach was the Pantone, or coral was the color of 2019, 2018, and I loved it. What's the color this year? Why can't I remember it? <laughs> Alex did a whole presentation on it, and she can't remember it either. I think it's like a... Um, is it? It's is not it? ultraviolet. That was last year. I, I was going to say, I think the purple was... We'll get back to you guys on that one. <laughs> I'll look through my presentation. <laughs> yeah, we'll go through Alex's presentation for it. Let's work in some of these orange flowers. Well, not orange. Peach is in between, right? In between orange, pink, and I'd say even yellow sometimes. Yeah, I'd say these are more of like a peachy coral. Yeah. So we're just going to dip them in our glue skillet. Hey, Janet from Seabrook. Hey, Janet. Periwinkle. Is that the color this year? Yes, right? Periwinkle, yes. <laughs> Thank you. I think. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Tom. I think. We've been at this long enough where there's been so many colors, right? <laughs> <laughs> we should remember them all. Teresa says, been seeing a lot of navy for fall. Yes, navy is, it's been popular for the last few years, I'd say. I've been a huge fan for a long time but I love navy with yellows. Oh, salmon too. This could be like a deeper salmon, right? Yeah. Yeah, it could be a salmon. Those colors all kind of cross cross paths, right? Yeah. So they can kind of go either way. Bob says it's birthday week for you guys today, right? I know, yes it is, Bob. Bella's is Wednesday, I am Thursday, <laughs> <laughs> and dad is Friday. Three birthdays this week. And we're going to be celebrating by working. We're going to have a sale. The wreath community opens up tomorrow, the 26th through the 30th, uh, which is kind of a surprise because we weren't opening until September. But we have so many Christmas tutorials that, you know, have already happened in fall. Uh, and we have so much more to come that I would hate for people to miss out on. And then my birthday, we are actually going to do, we've never done sales before, ever. Uh, so we're doing our very first sale for the entire lifetime of Nick's seasonal decor so we're really excited Woo! about that Teresa says big party big party at the warehouse Woo! <laughs> all right so dipping a few more of these in so odabras too right we'll see something something exciting is happening we got something going on something for you guys leaves some more to come fluff it out we got one flower left. I might as well work it in. Place it here. How are we doing on time? We are doing great. We got six minutes left. I do think I should work in a little bit of this too. What do you think, Al? I think that'd be pretty. Something different. So let's break a few of these stems apart. Rebecca says, love the flowers. Thank you, Rebecca. Getting a lot of happy birthdays right now. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I know you. you some of you guys have been with me since I was... 16 right 16 on the other side of this studio down here and now we're gonna be or i'm gonna be 24 years old and i'm feeling it <laughs> all right so we've got to dip some of these stems in okay and get up close to that grapevine because you're able to see you know, the texture of it. One thing about grapevines, you guys, is you gotta make sure, you know, that you don't have too much debris in it, but don't be afraid of leaving a little bit of stuff. A little bit of stuff in your grapevines is A-OK. -okay. Some twigs, some leaves, it's not gonna ruin anything. And I think, you know, grapevines are a natural product. So I always like to showcase them as much as possible. So it's working a little bit of these pink flowers now. Maxine says that's a happy looking wreath. <laughs> Thank you, Maxine. And we have our winner tonight. Ooh, who is our lucky winner? Congratulations to Debbie Holder from Indiana. Congratulations, Debbie. You just won yourself a free roll of ribbon. Yay. 
So you can go ahead and reach out to Bodabra. You can send them a message directly here on Facebook and they'll get you started and let you know how to win your free ribbon. Yes, congratulations. And for those of you that didn't win and have been watching for a while, or this might be your first time, you know, we've had lots of winners here on Bodabra that have never won anything in their life and have won a free roll of ribbon, right? So, you know, it could be anybody. Bodabra says, happy birthday, Nick. Thank you. Not yet, right? <laughs> but by the, by the next time we're on Bodabra, it will be, which is crazy, right? I feel like we've been planning the wedding so much and focusing on the wedding that I didn't even know it was a, our birthday week. I think I said to Alex yesterday, I said, when's our birthday? Like, <laughs> this <laughs> week, next week? She's like, it's coming up. That's all she knew. Yes, Kelly, I am 26. I will be 27 in September. September. So about... How many years older than my youth? Three? 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 Give or take. Around three. three. Around three. Okay. Well, we have one or two more pieces. I don't want to keep them. So we might as well put them in, right? Terry loves that bow. Thank you, Terry. Love your shirt. Thank you, Sue. Okay, we'll place that one there, and I think one down below, too. But this humidity, you guys, I am sweating. And Alex is, too. <laughs> it's hot down here. I am. And upstairs. And everywhere. <laughs> this heat wave's got to end. But here is how the wreath turned out. We just used leftovers, you guys, whatever I had on hand. And you're able to put leftovers in, you know, into beautiful designs. So for those of you that feel as though you have to purchase specific products or you, know, you can't just go through your own selections, definitely go through your own stuff because if you don't, you'll end up like me, which is just accumulating loads and loads of stuff and then just giving it away in the end anyway. So make sure that you go through what you already have and sometimes you can surprise yourself by putting together combos you would have never thought of or expected to look good together like this one. And that was designed on an 18 inch grapevine. So we've got two minutes left. Let's see if we can whip up one quick smaller bow. So we're gonna use our large again. And I've showed you guys how to create large bows on the mini, but today let's show you how to create a mini bow on our large bow Dabra. Hi, Marianne. Hey, Marianne. Karen says, I need to get a hot glue pot that Nick uses. <laughs> I know, and we've been looking to figure out if we can carry them on our website and we're still on the hunt i'm not the type to want to spend crazy money on a glue skillet and i don't want to make you guys do that as well so we're trying to find the best glue skillet at the best price for you all but you know in the meantime you can always just go to hobby lobby nope you can always just go to tj maxx marshall's walmart um you know those stores are the stores that really have the best skillets right you don't want to be spending yes. 40 50 bucks when you can get one for like 12. We have Julie watching from Wales, South Wales. Hey, Julie. Welcome. All right, so we cut three of these. I'm going to struggle dovetailing these, but that's okay. Work them in. So that's three. Let's do a couple smaller ones now. I should... Whenever I open new pairs of scissors or have any scissors, what I should do, Alex, is I should tie a string to them. <laughs> you should keep just them keep them. Because I don't know. Maybe that's what I'll get you for your birthday. An AC? <laughs> I'll get you a pair of a scissor holder. A scissor holder. You can put it right on your pants. <laughs> like one of those clip-on cell phone holders. Oh, my gosh. I would love that, actually. The that's so me, though. It would be. <laughs> All right, let's do one or two smaller ones, too. Pam loves the ribbon. I know, isn't this pretty? Let's see, do I have any other scissors? Nope. Yeah, you took them. Tom says I need to get you some new scissors for your birthday. I have a bunch. I have a bunch, you guys. It's just Yaya. Yaya hides them and moves things around. You already know by now. Um, so I had, somebody got me like 20 pairs of nice scissors somewhere. Just a matter of finding them. So let's take those wires, pull them to the middle and tie it off. There we 
go. Carrie says, beautiful ribbon. Thank you, Carrie. Kelly says, just throw the old ones away. I did. I threw out five pairs <laughs> in the bucket right now. I went through, and this was the best pair. But Eleanor says, have you recuperated from the wedding? Um, Not fully. <laughs> I know. We did rest yesterday. We, we rest needed yesterday. a nice rest. <laughs> did. I needed it. But I think our legs just hurt from all the dancing. From the dancing. Yeah, me and Alex were on the dance floor the entire night, you guys. But it was nice and cool in the venue. I wish I could have slept at the venue, to be honest. <laughs> okay. Let's dovetail this one. Let's see if we can do it. Can we cut that string off? There we go. I'll, I'll search for the scissors again. I'll have to search, because if I ask Yaya, she won't remember where she put them. Um, but I know we have like 10 pairs here. I just got to find them. Linda says, Yaya looked so pretty. She did look Aww, so pretty. Thank you, I know. Yeah, she had fun. She was there the entire day. Okay. Three tails left, you guys. Terry says, do you have any videos from the wedding? And so we... We took... Prep video. Yes. But during the duration of the wedding, I mean, honestly, you guys, it's like we blinked and the night was over. It flew by, which I wasn't expecting it to fly by so fast, right? But just wait. Once we get those professional videos of Nick dancing on the dance floor, <laughs> you guys are going to be the first ones to see it. Hands up. You guys want to see the dancing videos? <laughs> okay. Fluff it out. This is just something a little bit different. Look at that. So kind cute. of spidery, isn't it? Okay. So thank you all so very much for watching. I am Nick Kretikos of Nick Seasonal Decor. You are watching me on Bodabra. We are live here each and every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Bodabra does give away a free roll of ribbon each and every Monday that we're live. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Dory. And thank you, Sandy, for having me as a guest. Uh, we might have something special your way coming July 28th, my birthday, with the Bodabras at NickSeasonalDecor.com. So stay tuned for that. Um, and, yeah, thank you guys so much. Stay cool. Stay safe. And thank you guys for watching. Bye, everyone. Good night, everyone.